Well, when it's hot outside, we're told to check on me, uh, the elderly, and our beloved pets. But nobody ever says, why don't you check on your tree? And you might have noticed a few of them are losing leaves yes. at an alarming rate. So our Shana Freras in Chestnut Hill visiting the Morris Arboretum of the University of Pennsylvania for some answers about what's happening, why is this happening, and what can we do about and it? And ironically, it's raining. I know, that's that's the irony of all. I'm sitting here with an umbrella because it's coming down. But uh, Vince uh, Morocco is here with all of those answers. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Thank you so much for joining us here on Good Day. Sure. You're welcome. Of course. So talk to me because this is a lot to do with the weather and, we and the reason why we're seeing so much, uh, so many tree um, leaves on the ground is because of the heat and the drought. Can you explain that to us? Sure. So um, we have been down a number of inches this summer uh, just because we haven't had the rain and we've had the excessive heat and one of the things that trees do when that happens is they start to have stress uh, they can't support all the leaves on the trees and what they'll do is they'll drop some of the leaves uh, to survive it's a way of sort of preserving the moisture they have mm -hmm. and so that's what we're seeing um, if you look around on the ground here you'll see there's a number of leaves that are yellow on the ground you think it was like September or October it's really just the first of August mm -hmm. and that's what's happening those trees are dropping their leaves in order to survive yeah so when it comes to that um, looking at these kind of leaves that are already on the ground. alternatives at this point you know water essentially yeah well, one of the things you can do right now is to water trees and that are under stress and the way to see if a tree is under stress is if the leaves are flagging or drooping if they don't look uh if they're if they should be um fuller or, or more lush and they look awkward then that's a chance to water them and when you water your trees you should give them about an inch of water so how do you know what an inch of water is mm -hmm. uh you put a put a pie plate out Okay. and water with a sprinkler, and when there's an inch of water in that pie plate, stop. Um, gotcha. You should do that once a week for young trees especially. Okay. Now, what trees are at risk? Because you have older trees, you have established trees. What should people know in terms of what trees could be at risk for uh, their leaves uh, coming down sooner than usual? Right. So uh, some of the trees that would be uh, at risk would be, like I said, young trees. Young trees don't have a very big root system, and so they don't have access to a lot of moisture in the soil. So you want to watch those trees. And older trees, just like older folks, um, they can't take the, the, these hot and, and dry temperatures, so they need a little bit of water as well. So giving them some water would help as well. Um, the other thing is that native trees tend to be better adapted to the climate changes that we have when mm -hmm. you have these heat and, and, and dry temperatures. Uh, native trees are more adapted. Uh, it's the, the non-native trees like okay. the cherries and things like that that tend to suffer in these periods of drought. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, you watch the, the, the forecast for a lot of reasons, but another one of the big reasons is because there are so many trees that are located here um, at this location at the Ar Arboretum. Talk to me about what people can do uh, going forward. I, obviously, we watch the forecast. We, we, we know to water uh, the trees, but is there something we can do with the mulch, with the soil? How can we help with that? Exactly. So some simple practices to help preserve water is to mulch under your, your trees. Uh, a layer of mulch helps hold in that moisture and also weed. Um, weeding under your trees is a good thing because those weeds just rob the moisture from the plants. Okay. So weeding and mulching are great practices to do. Um, also, um, uh, turf grass, believe it or not, your turf grass needs a little w water at time, from time to time as well. Um, so again, uh, watering that about an inch once a week would be ideal. All right. So mulching, weeding, and watering, those are the keys. Those are the keys. All right, Vince Morocco here with the Morris Arboretum. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Make sure you guys listen so we can help these trees do their I thing. I did listen, and I, I got that tip. I learned something about the pie plate, you know? Yeah. When your pie plate fills up. It's important stuff. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well,